Now in the last video we done the removing of temporary files. In this video we're going to get rid of some spyware. And right here is a program called Super Anti-Spyware. Now, <clears throat> the first time you click this program, it brings like that little bug down here in the toolbar that shows that it's running. So I double click it, I get the bug down there showing it's running. And I double click it again to open the program. Now, <clears throat> normally when you install this program, it wants to run on startup. Um, I just don't run it on startup. I just make it so I manually run it when I want to. Um, you have a bunch of different options here. You got quick scan, complete scan, custom where you can set up whatever you want, the critical points. I usually just do a quick scan. Um, over here you can get, if you want to upgrade, you can get to um, real-time protection and stuff like that. Here's a place to check for updates. Now a lot of times when you first, um, whenever you first really um, open this program up, a lot of times right here in the center there will be a box pop up. Um, wanting you to update the program it's anytime you see that it's a good thing to update because they're always writing new definitions for different um, infections and stuff that comes out so you do want to do that there is a box here to enable rescue scan highly infected systems only so unless you're really 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 having a problem that's something to stay away from usually I'll just open it up hit the run quick scan and you'll see this running like this. Now there again, it depends on how much stuff you have in your computer, how long it's been since stuff's been cleaned out, and the speed of your computer, how long this program will take. <clears throat> now, also, I've been throwing, I don't know if you've seen, I've thrown some links in the description down there to some of these programs. Anytime you download a program or anything like that, it's always wise to read everything that's on the screen don't just start clicking through usually they'll have a custom install or an advanced install what they, they'll call it whatever but a lot of times they'll want you to do a recommended setting or um, preferred setting or just depends on what program you're running they they um, call it different things never do that I always use the advanced on the when you got that option that's where you're going to be able to find uh, little boxes to uncheck to keep you from getting toolbars and changing your home page and stuff. Even some of the updates that you get now does that kind of stuff. Um, so always if they have a recommended or a preferred way and you have a choice of doing advanced or um, custom, whichever they want to call it, always do the manual option don't never let them do it the way they want now this program like I say depending on how long um, it's been since you've cleaned with it and stuff how long it will run um, a lot of people ask me how often should I run it it's up to the person that that's using the computer um, Depends on the website you go to and all. The only thing I can say is run it once a week or something like that at first. If you hardly ever find anything, you can space that out farther. If you're one of the kind of people that I have customers that need to run this every day because of where they go on the Internet and stuff. Now, when this is done, you'll have a box like this come up, and you'll hit continue. Both of these are checked. It's got tracking objects and adware tracking cookies. Most of this is anytime you go to any website, no matter what website it is, um, there's always tracking cookies as a two-way communication. A lot of times you'll go, you say you're looking at new cars, and then for a long time after that, you'll start seeing ads for cars and different things like that because they've got tracking cookies and they're trying to sell you something. This helps get rid of a lot of that. Now, 
these are both checked. So now we're going to hit remove, remove, um, then, okay, so they're removed. Now you can look in your um, list here and see what they all were. And then you can hit finish. Now they have some other um, things here. They have some repairs that you can do, like um, remove the desktop screensaver, home page reset. Um, there's just a few tools they have there. They have a help section. Now you can also pay a fee and have this running and do real time protection. Uh, I just choose to run it when I want to. This is one of the programs after you install it that you'll probably want to, um, or at least I do. I like to go into the last program there and turn it off into startup programs. But it's a very good tool. There's others out there like it. But this is my choice of um, spyware removal software. Thanks for watching.